let's get to it. What's going on, people? This is Shy Harris, and uh, today we are doing uh, episode uh, two of The Road. So last week, I kind of just introduced what I was doing. Um, and this week, actually, before I get into that, last week, once I put out the video and kind of let everybody know what my mission was for this next 365 days, I got a lot of messages. I got a lot of inboxes saying, yo, congrats, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And it kind of got me pumped up a little bit. It kind of got me pumped. Like, I was pumped before, but I really feel like I can make this shit happen. At first, I wasn't going to do a video right now, or this week, just because I haven't really elevated. But then I was thinking, actually thinking early this morning while I was in the shower, I was like, this series isn't really about the highlights of me killing it, doing good. This series is more so about really being raw and honest about the journey to hit these goals I wanna hit. And so I was thinking like, it'll be wrong if I just, in two or three weeks, post another video like, yo, I did some dope shit. But I did some stuff this week that didn't really work out well. But the crazy thing about that is I learned some stuff along the way. So. Instead of, like I said before, just posting the highlights, I really want to kind of get you guys into my thought process behind the, you know, things that I do, things that, you know, I realize along the way that kind of trigger something else that kind of make me, you know, pivot a little bit to still reach that same goal. So after putting out the video last week, I was like, you know what? I'm going to run ads. I'm going to run ads. I'm going to run ads against content I already have, right? Just because I feel like the content was dope, but it just didn't really reach as many people that I wanted to reach. So I was like, you know what? I had a uh, my ebook, what the post that I just put out uh, like two weeks ago. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna run an ad against that because organically that was killing it. And then I had a couple other posts that I recently put out. I had a my unemployable film, short film that I put out last week. I like, you know, I'm gonna run some ads against that as well, just so I can get more eyes on that. And I ran ads and they did good. Let me uh, let me see if I can pull up ads real quick, just so I can give some accurate numbers. So I did two posts, um, I, or I ran two ads on Instagram. So one was for $9, uh, it's $3 a day for three days. So that's $9, I only got four clicks on it. So I like, yeah, that's not really, yeah, I ain't really getting nothing from that. So I like, yeah, that's, I'm gonna pass on that. And then I was thinking like, you know what? I need to run something for like $30, like for a day and just see what it do. And that was my post on, what was this post about? It was my post about getting, um, my post about my ebook that I put out that had a couple tips on, you know, how to do your social media right. So that didn't get any clicks either, but I also canceled it after a day or canceled it after um, a couple hours just because I had an epiphany, right? So I had an epiphany that to really do this the way I need to do it, I can't really just be throwing a whole bunch of money at ads and not get anything in return. So I was like, you know what? Before I can really get started with this, I got to make sure my structure and foundation is correct. And when I say that, I mean, I need to have some type of product out there that I can run ads against that's going to bring in money back. Because just running ads against stuff and just continuing to spend money without getting anything back isn't really going to work out the greatest because sooner or later I'm going to just stop spending money. So this week I was like, you know what, I need to really kind of focus on what products that I can actually sell so when it actually comes time to you know, put money towards ads on other things, I got money coming back in. So that's kind of been my thought process is what products can I sell and then the marketing behind those products. So I'm working on a couple of different things. I'm working on, um, I'm working on some merch, which I've actually been working on for the past couple of months. I had the designs. Now I'm just looking for the right printer who has a, a nice quality, who isn't really going to bust me in the head as far as price wise. Um, so looking for that. And then I'm also working on uh, some presets for 
for people who are you know building up their social media content more so this kind of goes straight for women who are always shooting content but they using trash filters so we kind of trying to get away from that so those are the two things i'm working on but i say all that to say that my main takeaway from this week is you got to spend your money correctly you can't be continue to run ads when you need something you need those ads to be also bringing back in money so that's kind of where i'm at right now just trying to find the right product so i can actually launch those and while i'm actually running ads against other stuff i can also run ads against the things that are actually bring it back in money so that's the plan and so this video is going to be short so i just want to talk about that because that's something i thought about that i really need to kind of get off the ground before i really start doing anything else because that just needs to happen so i'm not bringing in a lot of money like that where i can just continue to run ads and, and you know spend 30 50 dollars a day and not bringing anything back so i need to find something that can bring that money back so this is shot here this is the road and um i'll probably be back next week with something so and thank you for you know joining this journey of mine <laughs>